scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 720 pounds, E-L-P-I-G, and Bad Fuller. His opponent, first, at a combined weight of 425 pounds, take Mochaccino and I see. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six-man tag team action coming up. And given who's involved in this one, I assure you that you don't want to miss this one. Trust me. coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. that doesn't need a lot of hype oh. description. Just look in the ring. This is going to be an incredible six-man tag match. We've seen some amazing six-man tag team matches in the past, and I'm sure this one will rank right up there with some of the best. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. meet in the ring, somebody's gonna get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. That time. Hooked him up. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Nicely done. 
as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Here's the tag. Up top. Nice cross body. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. of this match is too much for him to overcome. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. He might have it. Boom! Oh, man! What's going to happen now when a superstar is in a six-man match? One of the most... And he kicks out. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. What a stomp. Good grief. His partner's practically begging to get in the ring. He better be careful what he's wishing for. What impact. No doubt about that one. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be. Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Comes in off the tag. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. I don't know how much more of this he can take. He may very well have reached the point of no return here in this six-man tag team match. Yeah, this is hard to watch. Thinking about a submission here, Case. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. He's taking some offense. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against. Vicious strike. This is his opportunity to win this thing. One of the greatest strikers in the game. He may get the three count right there. Two! And the kick out. Uh-uh. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the... Captain's hook is locked in. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Guys, I actually question the legality of that move. We know what this is. It's a stampede. Teamwork is always 
count out in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double-team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three... Just a barrage of stars. Victory is on the horizon. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqual. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The long way up. Powerbomb planet. Just when you thought he had nothing left. He goes for the cover. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. With the superstars of the line, things that are common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. between the ropes. General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. He had nothing left at this point. I'm not used to seeing this. At this point, he has to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get back in this thing? Too quick for him there. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Harsh impact. Tagged in. Some fight left in him. 
Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. In off the tag. We're an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. Oh, and he reverses it. Gets the tag. What a stop! Grief! Oh boy, he is rolling. Showing off some of his speed there. What a hurt! He's looking at it. Beautiful technique. Perfectly executed, guys. This could be it. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Truly devastating, Cole. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. here. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Hooked up. Fisherman shoot. Looking for all the glory here. And he breaks the cover. How'd he do that? Tagged in. Looks like we might just see the... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. at some of the high points of that one. Yeah, he's putting in the work. 
Check them out here. Oh, I can't believe this. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here are your winners. Take Mokachino, I C, and Pete Mick North Tanaka. Quite some back and forth there before finally picking up the win. If you're not feeling good about yourself after a win like that, you better get yourself checked.